In this video, we're going to look at how to find the shortest distance from a point to a line. So here we've got the line y equals x plus 1, and we've got the point to 0. And we're going to look at how to find the shortest distance from this point to the line. Um, now, if you were to go straight up from the point to 0 to the line, you can see it would be 1, 2, 3 units. If you were to go horizontally from the point to the line, again, you would see it would be 1, 2, 3 units. But as you move um, across diagonally like so, you can see the line gets much shorter. And it's at its shortest whenever the line, this black line, is at right angles or is perpendicular to the red line. So in other words, it's perpendicular to the line you're given in the question. So if we uh, want to find the shortest distance from a point to a line, there's three steps we've got to follow. Number one, we've got to find the equation of the perpendicular line to the line given that passes through the point that you're given in the question. Step two, you want to find where the line that you're given in the question and your perpendicular line, where they intersect. In other words, you need to find this point here, the coordinates for that point. And the last step is you're going to use Pythagoras to find the length of this diagonal, because as you can see, you've got a right angle triangle. If you use Pythagoras, you can find the length of this black line. And that will be the shortest distance from the point to the line. OK, let's have a look at that now. So here we've got the same question, and we're just going to follow those steps. So step one, we've got this perpendicular line. Let's find this equation. So the equation of the line that we're given is y equals x plus 1. So a perpendicular line, well, the gradient will have the negative reciprocal. So if the gradient of this one's 1, uh, the gradient of this one will be minus 1, or we call it minus x instead of writing minus 1x, and plus c. Let's find C, the y-intercept of this black line. So we know that it passes through the point given to 0, and that's in the format x and y. So if we substitute these in, we can get the C. So 0 equals minus 2 plus C, so C equals 2. So the equation of this black line is y equals minus x plus 2. So that's the first step done. We find the equation of the black line, or the equation of that shortest line. Um, now what we're going to do is we want to find this point here. Let's call it A, okay, this point. And the coordinates of A can be found by considering simultaneous equations. We've got this red line, which is y equals x plus 1. We've got this black line, which equation is y equals minus x plus 2. To find where they intersect each other, well, I would probably use substitution, so replacing this y with the x plus 1. Uh, so you get x plus 1 equals minus 2, or sorry, minus x plus 2. And if we solve this, adding x to both sides, we're going to get 2x plus 1 equals 2. And minusing 1 from both sides, we're going to get 2x equals 1. And dividing by 2, we get x is equal to 0 0.5. So this point here, its x coordinate is 0 0.5. Now we need to find what the height of it is. Well, the height, well, we can substitute this 0 0.5 into either one of these two, like you can with simultaneous equations. I'm going to substitute the 0 0.5 into this one. So y equals 0 0.5 plus 1, y equals 1.5. So this point A has the coordinates 0 0.5, 1.5. And that's it. And our last step is to find the distance between this point A, which is 0 0.5, 1.5, and the point we were given in the question, which was 2, 0. There's an equation for that, and that is um, this equation here, the square root of brackets x2 minus x1 squared plus brackets y2 minus y1 squared. And you can just plug those values in. So you could call this one x1 and this one y1 and this one x2 and this one y2 and plug them in and work it out. Um, or the way I prefer to do it is just to consider a right angle triangle and use Pythagoras because as you can see, if you just go across, down and across, you've got this right angle triangle. Um, this point here it was 0 0.5 and it goes across to 2, so that was 0 0.5 and across to 2. So if you go across, it's got a length here of 1.5. I'm actually just going to sketch this out. That's the point A, that's the point 2, 0. And we've, got, we've seen here that if we just go across, it's 1.5 across. And again, this has got a height, this point here is a height of zero. And if we go upwards to here, it's got a height of 1.5. So again, this would be 1.5. And we could just use Pythagoras on this. So let's just work that out. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that will give us uh, 1.5 squared plus 1.5 squared equals x squared. 1.5 squared plus 1.5 squared, that is 4.5. Um, you can test that on your calculator if you wish. 
Um, and now you just need to square root that. So the square root of 4.5 would be equal to um, x equals 2.12132. And so that's the shortest distance. So the shortest distance from the point two zero to the line y equals x plus 1 is 2.12132. And that's it. Um, so, and that's it. So to find the distance between a point and a line, there's just three steps you follow. Find the equation of the perpendicular line that passes through that point to the line that you're given. Uh, find the coordinates of where the, those lines intersect. And then use Pythagoras to find the length of uh, that line segment. And let me just show you on another uh, question how I would attempt it. I'm not gonna do the whole question, just gonna show you how to do it. So um, this time we've got this red line here. We've got the line 2x plus y equals 6. And we've been asked to find the shortest distance between that line and the point 5, 6. So that is the point here, there. Um, so what you would do is, again, draw a perpendicular line. Um, again, this is just this is just going to be a very rough sketch here. Okay, so there's a perpendicular line-ish uh, to the... Um, the point given um, and then the steps would be find the equation of this black line so the line that we were given was 2x plus y equals 6 well I would make y the subject so y equals minus 2x plus 6 so that's this line y equals minus 2x plus 6 this one here the equation would be well the gradient is a negative reciprocal so the negative reciprocal of 2 is a half so this line would be y equals a half x plus c i would actually i'm just going to carry on and do this question just because i'm nearly finished it okay so this point here it's x and y so plugging these in uh, six equals a half of five what's well, 2.5 plus c uh, c then equals 3.5 so the equation of the black line is y equals a half x plus 3.5. As you can see, my sketch isn't very good in terms of where that black line is. It's more probably up this way. Anyway, um, that's step one was to find the equation of the black line. Step two is to find where the black line and the red line intersect. In other words, where the perpendicular and the line given in the question meet each other. So let's solve that. So we've got y equals a half x plus 3.5 and we had y equals minus 2x plus 6. So if we equate them, so minus 2x plus 6 equals 0.5x plus 3.5. Uh, solving this, um, I'm just going to um, bring the 2x over here to get 6 equals 2.5x plus 3.5. Take the 3.5 off will give me 2.5 equals 2.5x, so x equals 1. Okay, that's cool. Um, plugging that back into one of these two, she get the same no matter which one you use. Um, I'm gonna use the top one here. Minus two times one is minus two, plus six is four. So y equals four. So the point where they would intersect would be one, four. Um, yeah, let's actually just quickly move that just so it's looking a bit better. <laughs> I was a bit far out there. Um, so that's the point there, point A, which is one, four. And now we just need to find the distance between that and the point five, six. Again, you can use the formula, um, the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus um, y2 minus y1 squared. Um, alternatively, you can just make a little right angle triangle and solve it that way. And that's what I'm just gonna quickly do. Um, as you can see here, there's the point one, four, five, six. We can make a little right angle triangle. And you can see going from one to five, well, that's gonna be four across, and going from four up to six will be two up. So this distance, let's call it x, x squared will equal two squared plus four squared. Uh, two squared is four, four squared is 16, so uh, that's going to be 20, four squared plus uh, two squared 20, yep, just checking. Don't wanna make a mistake on a video. So x squared equals 20, and then the square root of 20 will be equal to I suppose we could leave it in third format, which would be um, 2 root 5. So we could just leave it as 2 root 5. Alternatively, we could call it the 4.472, so on. And that's it. Uh, and that's how you find the shortest distance between a point and a line.